This is not exactly a review, more like an explanation what happened with this game. It was the year 1995 and everybody was obsessed with 3D games. There was a Swedish demo group called Triton, you may know them for their excellent multiplayer and editor Fast Tracker, or their demo Crystal Dream. They decided they've got some experience with graphics and music and started working on a game. A fighting game. They named it Into the Shadows. The game was ahead of its time with its advanced stunning graphics, real-time 3D lighting, excellent motion capture and 3D texture mapped background. When I first saw the character demonstration, I was stunned how good it looked. Sure, it doesn't look like much today, but it was brilliant in 95. The demo showed a couple of characters and how great they can move. It was simply perfect. All because of Triton's involvement in Fast Tracker, the music was to be in mode format. If you want just the music, I'll put it in the description next to the demo itself. You were supposed to play as Eric Lionheart, fighting through all sorts of enemies like zombies, skeletons and orcs to get to an evil necromancer and rescue the moon child. Triton was developing the game for Scavenger, another company made by former demo group developers. Unfortunately Scavenger went its up and the game was cancelled. And there was it for Into the Shadows. However, we can still enjoy at least a little bit of their unfortunate, short but awesome attempt to create a cracking game.